The U.S. government has renewed its travel advisory against the Bahamas, telling its citizens to exercise increased caution due to crime. The advisory was released on Monday. Well, today, the tourism and aviation minister responded to that advisory, which he called surprising. The Level 2 advisory advises United States citizens to increase caution in the Bahamas due to crime. This latest advisory issued Monday by the United States State Department follows another issued last year with similar language. It cites violent crimes such as burglaries, armed robberies, and says that sexual assault is common even during the day and in tourist areas. The document also notes that although the family islands are not crime-free, the vast majority of crime occurs in New Providence and Grand Bahama. Tourism and Aviation Minister the Honorable Dionisio Diagula reacting to this latest travel advisory this way. We're a little surprised by that, um, a little dismayed by that. Um, because our crime statistics have, have decreased so substantially, we would have thought that it would have been um, a, a, better, uh, a better rating. I mean, to lump us in the same category as Mexico and Jamaica, to us seems a little harsh. And we thought that a lot of the, the verbiage in the advisory was uh, an exaggeration. Um, the Ministry of National Security is looking to exactly how many foreign visitors experienced a uh, um, some sort of crime activity. The tourism minister feels those numbers would be negligible. However, the advisory also says caution should be used in the sand trap areas, as well as the over the hill and fish fry at Arwaki. The travel warning cited the water sports industry is not consistently regulated or maintained and many companies do not have certification to operate in the Bahamas. It continues that jet ski operators have been known to commit sexual assaults against tourists. As a result, the U.S. government personnel are not permitted to use jet ski rentals on New Providence and Paradise Island. The Tourism and Aviation Minister says it will simply have to present its case to officials from the United States Embassy, which it's been in discussions with. And we obviously did not convince them that there was improvement, but the statistics, numbers speak for themselves. Uh, there was a decrease in crime and, and, and really start to focus on uh, crime that was directed towards foreign visitors. I mean, it's our belief it was negligible. And so the Ministry of National Security is going through its, its, its data to see exactly how many um, or how much of the crime was directed at foreign visitors. Minister Diagula says portions of the advisory were true and need to be addressed. But I must say, we do have some problems. You know, it's not all good and rosy. There are things that we can correct. And there was some truth to what was said in, in the travel advisory as it relates to um, uh, um, um, watercraft and, 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 and jet skis. And, and the Minister of Transport is going to be all over that. So, you know, we are, we are definitely working to correct some of the deficiencies they did point out. I mean, it's not, we're not perfect. It's not a perfect place. Uh, we just and was also asked if he felt the advisory would affect the country's tourism product. Well, it's exactly the same travel advisory as last year, and the number of uh, stopover visitors to our country increased by 17%, so I'll leave it there. The advisory also warned visitors against answering the door at a hotel or residence if they were unaware of who was at the other side, and also not to physically resist any robbery. Jiminita Swain, ZNS Network News.